to our class. This is our last unit in our class 10th. Here is the theme of the unit Nation and Diversity. Before going to our lesson, let's look at the face sheet. See here is a picture and answer the questions that follow. Now first of all look at this picture children. Now what does the picture signify? The picture depicts a street cricket game. In this picture we can see a Hindu and a Muslim playing cricket together. So this is the way how the Indians live. People in India live together, work together and play together even though they have many religious and cultural differences. So this picture signifies the unity in diversity. Do you experience the theme reflected in the picture in your real life? If not, what may be the possible reason for this? So what do we say according to your own personal? So I am giving you S. I usually experience the theme depicted in the above picture where at my school, I play with my classmates who belong to different religions and castes. Though we have cultural and religious differences among us, we play together, study together, eat together, share our feelings and learn things together. Usually, in school, religious harmony and unity are largely encouraged by teachers in society, the feelings of religious harmony and unity disappear because of narrow-mindedness and belief system of some people. Now going to our reading, you all know this. Now what it is? Yes, let's see what it is. Read the following extract from Wings of Fire where the former president of India speaks of his childhood. I hope you all recognize what we are going to discuss about. This is my childhood. Whose childhood? A biographical account of APJ Abdul Kalam, the former president of India. In this, he says how he enjoyed religious harmony in his childhood. From this biographical account, one can easily understand how children enjoy their childhood at school irrespective of caste and religion. The childhood experience of Kalam is a significant example of India's unity in diversity. Now before going to our lesson, if we look about the author on page 187, Dr. Awul Pakir Jainul Abdeen Abdul Kalam was born on 15th October 1931 at Rameshwaram in Tamil Nadu. He was responsible for the evolution of ISRO's launch vehicle program, particularly the PSLV configuration and for the development and operationalization of Agni and Prithvi missiles and for building indigenous capability in critical technologies through networking of multiple institutions. In his literary pursuit, four of Dr. Kalam's books, Wings of Fire, India 2020, A Vision for the New Millennium, my journey and ignited minds unleashing the power within India have become household names in India and among the Indian national abroad. Dr. Kalam received honorary doctorates from 30 universities and institutions. He was awarded the coveted civilian award Padma Bhushan in 1981 and Padma Vibhushan 1990 and the highest civilian award Bharat Ratna in 1997 and also Dr. Kalam became the 11th President of India on 25th July 2002. Now in this story he is going to explain the first introduction I was born into a middle class Tamil family in the island town of Rameswaram in the erstwhile 
Madras state, my father Jainalabdin had neither much formal education nor much wealth. Despite these disadvantages, he possessed great innate wisdom and a true generosity of spirit. He had an ideal helpmate in my mother, Asha Yama. I do not recall the exact number of people she fed every day, but I am quite certain that far more outsiders ate with us than all the members of our family put together. Now, where was he born? Into a middle class Tamil family. In the island, island means a piece of island that is completely surrounded by water. That place name is Rameswaram. In the erstwhile former or past or previously Madras chain. And his father name is Jainulabdin. He neither had much formal education nor wealth. Despite, though he had faced these pro problems, these disadvantages. Uh, what are the disadvantages? He neither have formal education nor wealth, but he possessed. What is it? He won. What did he own? Innate wisdom and true generosity. Innate means inborn, natural, inherent. What is generosity? Kindness, big heartedness. These two were the main possessive characters of the father. Whereas he had an ideal helpmate in her mother. The mother name is Asha Yama. Why was she called ideal? Perfect, best, most suitable. I do not recall the exact number of people. Why was she called as the ideal helpmate? Because every day she used to feed many people. And I cannot recall how many. But I was quite certain many outsiders used to come and eat with us. Then finally, whatever leftover quantity, all our family members sit together and share the meal. This is how our days moves on in when he was of a childhood. I was one of the children, a short boy with rather undistinguished looks, born to tall and handsome parents. We lived in our ancestral house, which was built in the middle of the 19th century. It was a fairly large pakka house made of limestone and brick on the mosque street in Rameswaram. My austere father used to avoid all inessential comforts and luxuries. However, all necessities were provided for in terms of food, medicine or clothes. In fact, I would say mine was a very secure childhood, both materially and emotionally. And he is talking about himself. I was one of the children. I was one of the children mean here. One of the children mean that he was one of the boy. There are many people, either the sisters or brothers of minimum two or three. We'll see later how many were there. A short boy with rather undistinguished to some extent ordinary nothing special or not very interesting or attractive looks born to tall and handsome parents where the parents were both are tall and handsome we lived he is talking that they used to live in an ancestral mean that inherited of grandparents or forefathers in their house which was built in the middle of 19th century. And the house is described, it's a fairly large pakka house and made of limestone and brick. And the house is in the mosque street in Rameswaram. Simple father is called as austere, means very strict, simple and plain. We can say in this describing words as austere. He used to avoid inessential, which are not necessary comforts and luxuries. But his father used to provide important things. What are they? The food, medicine or clothing. And in fact, to say that his life was very secure, very safe childhood guarded by the parents. Materially means related to money and possessions 
and also emotionally connected with feelings. So he said that his life was very secure childhood. Now turn your page. The Second World War broke out in 1939 when I was 8 years old for reasons I have never been able to understand a sudden demand for tamarind seeds erupted in the market. I used to collect the seeds and sell them to a frozen shop on Moss Street. A day's collection would fetch me the priceless sum of one anna. My brother-in-law Jalaluddin would tell me stories about the war which I would later attempt to trace in the headlines in Dinamani. Our area being isolated was completely unaffected by the war. But soon India was forced to join the allied forces and something like a state of emergency was declared. The first casualty came in the form of the suspension of the train halt at Rameswaram station. The newspaper now had to be bundled and thrown out from the moving train on the Rameswaram road between Rameswaram and Danishkodi. That forced my cousin Samsuddin who distributed newspaper in Rameswaram to look for a helping hand to catch the bundle and as if naturally I filled the slot. Samsuddin helped me earn my first wages. Of a century later, I can still feel the surge of pride in earning my money for the first time. See, pricey means not very large. As the Second World War broke out, been started in 1931, during that time his age was just 8 years old. He is unable to understand why suddenly a demand of tamarind seeds erupted, means rise it suddenly. A desire for having a thing backed by purchasing power is called as demand. Why suddenly what happened? So he couldn't understand because he was just 8 years old. But what he used to do, it is the right time to get the money. So he used to collect the seeds from the market and sell them in a frozen shop in which street on Moss Street itself. So when he do this work, he used to get a earning. Fetch me means bring him the priceless sum of means not very large. But during those days, it is one anna. So it is a less amount during that time. Next is his brother-in-law, his name is Jalaluddin. He used to tell the stories about the war. These stories when he heard from him, in the headlines he had traced, means find signs of proof in the Dinamani. As the area being isolated, very lonely, single, so this area is unaffected by the war. When India was forced to join the allied forces, then it was taken a decision that a state of emergency was declared. The first casualty they started is the train halt at Rameswaram was suspended. So when that suspended, so his uh, cousin name is Samsuddin, he used to do a newspaper's distribution. He has to bundle and throw out from the moving train, so he needs some help. Who is there to catch the bundles? Finally, he, he refers to here, Abdul Kalam filled that gap. Samsuddin helped me in this manner. He had to catch the train and throw the bundles where from Rameshwaram and Danushkodi between that he used to throw the bundles. This is how the paper distribution goes on. There is no gap for that. So Samsuddin helped him earning his first wages. And of a century he still feel a pride that I am also earning. He started earning since the childhood days. Every child is born with some inherited characteristic into a specific socio-economic and emotional environment and trained in certain ways by figures of authority. I inherited honesty and self-discipline from my father, from my mother. I inherited faith in goodness and deep kindness and so did my three brothers and sisters. So now he is going to say he is one of them. Mean that three brothers and sisters means totally five members family. Here three are the brothers, one is sister and he is the one. And so as he was child born with some inherited characteristic, he had a social, economic and good emotional environment. 
and he was trained in the certain ways by figures of authority. So what are the inherited characteristics from the parents? Means full possession he won from the parents. From father, he earned honesty and self-discipline. From mother, faith in goodness and deep kind nature. In the same way, rest of the children also inherited the characters. And I had three close friends in my childhood. What are the names of the close friends? Ramna Sastri, Aravindan and Sevaprakasam. These three were from orthodox Hindus Brahmin family. What do you mean by orthodox? Following closely the traditional belief and practices of a religion. So these three people were orthodox Hindu Brahmin. As children, none of us ever felt any difference among ourselves because of our religion difference and upbringing. So being children, they did not bother about the caste or the, what the religion is. So they did not find any differences in bringing, upbringing referring to growing, cared for and taught how to behave while they were growing. In fact, Ramana Sastri was the son of Pakshi Lakshman Sastri, the high priest of the Rameswaram temple. Later, he took over the priesthood of the Rameswaram temple from his father. Now, Ramana Sastri, his father's name is Pakshi Lakshman Sastri. He is a priest in the Rameswaram temple. Rameswaram temple is very famous. So, in that, he used to perform religious duties and ceremonies. Finally, when he became old, he had uh, took over the priesthood of the Rameswaram. Who took over? Ramana Sastri taken. Means the job of position of being a priest. Now, he was there. When he was grown up, he was taking that job. Now, Aravindan went into business of arranging transport for visiting pilgrims. Now, transport business. So, when the people were coming to pilgrim, pilgrimages, so he used to provide transport for them. This was the job of Aravindan. Finally, Shoprakasam became a catering contractor for the Southern Railways. In this way, all the three friends settled in their life. During the annual Sri Sitaram Kalyanam ceremony, our family used to arrange boats with a special platform for carrying idols of the Lord from the temple to the marriage site situated in the middle of the pond called Ramatirda, which was near our house. Even from the Ramayana and from the life of Prophet were the bedtime stories my mother and grandmother would tell the children in our family. Now, after discussing about the friends, now he is talking about every year everyone knows that we are going to celebrate Sita Ramal Kalyanam. So, on this particular ceremony, these family members used to arrange the boats with a special platform for what? Carrying idols to one of the particular place. What is that place? The marriage site which is in the middle of the pond called Ramatirda. It is very near to their house. So this is how every year the parents used to take care of this ceremony. Now bedtime stories of this boy when he was of childhood, mother as well as grandmother used to tell. What are they? Even from the Ramayanam and also life of the prophet. Means prophet here refers to Muhammad who founded the religion of Islam. So those stories were the bedtime stories for him. One day when I was in the 5th standard at the Rameswaram elementary school, a new teacher came to our class. I used to wear a cap which marked me as a Muslim and I always sat in the front row next to the Ramana Sastri who wore the sacred thread. The new teacher could not stomach a Hindu priest son sitting with a Muslim boy. In accordance with our social ranking as the new teacher said, I was asked to go and sit on the back bench. I felt very sad and so did Ramana Sastri. He looked utterly downcast as I shifted to my seat in the last row. The image of him weeping when I shifted to the last row left a last impression on me. So he was talking about his childhood days. When the boy was studying 5th at the school name is Rameswaram Elementary School, one new teacher was appointed and he came to their class. So Muslims usually wear a cap to 
mark as if they were of that religion and he used to sit in the front row next to the ramana sastri ramana sastri we all know that he was the orthodox brahmin so they will be wearing a sacred thread so looking the muslim and a, a brahmin sitting here side by side this teacher is unable to digest himself what is this so he is showing some religious indifference so in accordance with the social ranking the new teacher said to asking the ramana sastri to go and sit on the back bench he felt very sad even the abdul kalam also felt so sad he looked utterly downcast means very depressed he don't want to leave the friend and go and sit in the back bench but as the teacher given a order so he should uh, not refuse to the teacher's order he obeyed the teacher and went and sat on the back bench while going we can see the image of him crying when shifting to the last row never kalam can forget it it is a lasting impression means continuing to exist have an effect for a long time in his view after school we went home and told our respective parents about the incident lakshman sastri summoned the teacher and in our presence told the teacher that he should not spread the poison of social inequality and communal intolerance in the minds of innocent children he bluntly asked the teacher to either apologize or quit the school and the island not only did the teacher regret his behavior but the strong sense of conviction lakshman sastri conveyed ultimately reformed this young teacher now after school they felt very bad and went home and explained everything to their parents what had happened this incident made the parents very angry they immediately the lakshman sastri who is here lakshman sastri ramana sastri's father so he summoned he scolded the teacher to order somebody to come to you call invite this come under as meanings of summon he scolded the teacher in the presence of the children and he said being a teacher you should not poison the mind talking about the social inequality and communal intolerance he bluntly asked the teacher so will you say apologize means saying sorry or do you want to quit this island and go away finally the teacher saw sorrow he, he felt very sorry and he said sorry sir i can understand what had happened i never commit the mistake it's a strong sense of conviction that he conveyed ultimately changed this young teacher so reform means he had changed himself what the mistake he had done on the whole the small society of rameswaram were very rigid in terms of segregation of different social groups actually this small very very small society rameswaram it is very rigid very firm in terms of segregation means the policy or act of separating people so of uh, different social groups however his science teacher his name is subramanyam ayar he though he is an orthodox brahmin with a very conservative wife was something of a rebel so his wife is very opposed to great or sudden social change we can say she is just like a rebel who does not obey but fight against established authority such a lady she was he did his best to break social barrier so that people from varying backgrounds could mingle easily he tried his level best to break the social disturbances happening in his country and to mingle each other easily he used hours with me and would say kalam i want you to develop so that you are on par with the highly educated people of the big cities so many hours he used to spend with him and always he used to counsel the boy kalam to make equal with the highly educated people of big cities means he want to develop the boy to such a large extent explaining every time to the kalam one day he invited him to his home for a meal so him refers to here kalam he invited me to his home for a meal his wife was horrified at the idea of a muslim boy being invited to dine in her ritually pure kitchen so when he said 
that a Muslim boy is coming to our house, I invited him. The lady became so horrified, means frightened, scared, terrified. How can you invite the boy who is a Muslim? Mine is a ritually pure kitchen. Ritually means a series of action, especially as a part of religious ceremony, holy or sacred, fine, which is unpolluted kitchen. So how can you invite the boy? So she disliked that the boy was invited to the house. So Subramanya Mayar was not perturbed, nor did he get angry with his wife, but instead served me with his own hands and sat down beside me to eat his meal. So this Iyer was not at all disturbed because he knows about the lady. Perturbed means disturbed mentally. He himself did not get angry with his wife, but he served the boy with his own hands and sat beside him to eat the meal. His wife watched us from behind the kitchen door and the wife is watching behind the kitchen door how the boy was going to eat. I wondered whether she had observed any difference in the way I ate rice, drank water or cleaned the floor after the meal. He was surprised why the lady was observing me like that. So is there any changes the way I eat, the way I drink water, clean the floor after the meal? When I was leaving his house, Sivul Subramanya Mayar invited me to join him for dinner again the next weekend. So when he was ready to leave the house after having the invitation, the teacher again invited him to please come next weekend also. Observing my hesitation, he told not to get upset saying once you decide to change the system, such problems have to be confronted. When I visited his house the next week, Sivasabramanyam Ayya's wife took me inside her kitchen and served me food with her own hands. So he felt hesitated to again coming on the next weekend. But he had said, I, he observed, the teacher observed his hesitation. So, these are all not a matter for us. Such problems will be confronted. Means deal with the situations. Don't take it into your heart. Please visit again. So, next time when he visited, this time there is a change in the wife. What is the change here? She in herself taken the boy inside the kitchen and served him the food with her own hands. So this is how the change had appeared. Then the second world war was over and India's freedom was imminent. Indians will build their own India, declared Gandhiji. The whole country was filled with an unprecedented optimism. I asked my father for permission to leave Rameswaram and study at the district headquarters in Ramnathapuram. So second world war was completed. By that time, India's freedom was imminent, means about to happen. Indians are going to get independence during that time. This was declared by Gandhiji. Now, Indians, you can build your own India. And this whole country was filled with the unprecedented, never known before, as in the first time it is a fresh optimism, a positive quality that good is going to happen. During that time, I asked my father's permission that if he wanted to leave Rameswaram and go for higher studies. Where to continue higher studies? District headquarters in Ramanadapuram. He told me as if thinking aloud, Abul, I know you have to go away to grow. Does the seagull not fly across the sun alone and without a nest? He quoted Khalil Gibran to my hesitant mother, Your children are not your children. They are the sons and daughters of life longing for itself. They come through you but not from you. You may give them your love but not your thoughts for they have their own thoughts. Now when he said, mother felt very upset because the mother never want to leave the children alone. Always she want to be along with them. So father, he is brave. He told him as if thinking aloud, Abul, he used to call the son as Abul, I know that you have to go away to grow for your future. So does the seagull comparing with a bird which lives at sea coast. So does not seagull not fly across the sun alone and without a nest. So it lays the eggs but even though it will fly while leaving the nest, if she is frightened, she cannot live, she cannot survive. So he quoted Khalil Gibran to make the lady brave. 
she he quoted the lady as Khalil Gibran as the mother is very hesitant now means timid doubtful lady your children are not your children we feel that the children are my own children but they are the sons and daughters of life longing for itself they come through the mother womb but not from the thoughts of the parents you may give your love but not your thoughts because every child have their own thoughts is life longing for itself the desire they will listen to the parents only to the certain age later the children are going to take their own decisions so this is what the life he quoted to the lady and the rest of it if you want to continue reading you can read the book wings of fire so this is a short biographical account which was given to you as a lesson here are the glossary meanings so go through all the glossary meanings and question and answers are given in study material now coming to the vocabulary part on page 189 if you take the vocabulary part you should write the vocabulary answers after listening to the lesson what do you understand here Samsuddin helped me earn my first dash what is the right answer you are going to write so income so money or profit received for work is called as income he received a proportion of his dash from selling tamarind seeds wages a fixed regular payment is called wage he is dash about technology he is ignorant so lacking knowledge or we can also say unaware however he was found dash of any crime innocent he lost all the wealth he had dash from his father because he dash bad habits so he lost all the wealth he had inherited from his father because he had acquired six people from different backgrounds could dash each other mingle dash group of people do not come to an agreement mixed seventh one people in rameshwaram was very dash in terms of segregation rigid of different social groups subramanyam ir dash opposed it adamantly eighth one the car collided with a dash vehicle when we were going to buy some dash from the book stall now nary stationery nary is given now first one what do we write nary stationery so nary refers to immobile not moving whereas nery of stationery gives us a writing material so second blank is s t a t i o n e r y first one s t a t i o n e r y she was dash in a huge white towel enveloped n e v e l o p e d means wrapped we sent an air mail dash abroad envelop e n v e l o p e which refers to cover the floor was dash with a newspaper laid l a i d placed he dash many times lied l i d which talks about untrue statements now turn your page Tick the appropriate meanings of the underlined words in each sentences below. Kalam's father possessed great innate wisdom and true generosity of spirit. Now underline generosity. The right answer for this is nobility. A sudden demand for tamarind seeds erupted in the market. Erupted underlined. Answer appeared suddenly. Our family arranged boats for carrying idols of the Lord from the temple to the marriage site situated in the middle of the pond. S-I-T-E underlined site meaning place the new teacher could not stomach a hindu priest son sitting with a muslim boy stomach underline answer for this tolerate he looked utterly downcast as i shifted to my seat in the last row downcast meaning sad sastri bluntly asked the teacher to either apologize or quit the school bluntly underline angrily the small society of Rameshwaram was very rigid in terms of the segregation of different social groups. Rigid underlined, strict. Sir so, Subramanyam Ayer was not perturbed nor did he get angry with his wife. Perturbed underlined, disappointed. 
India's freedom was imminent. Imminent underline answer certain. Now here is a grammar topic to you. Read the following paragraph and note the underlined words. Here not underlined, we will underline. On the whole, the small society of Rameswaram was very rigid in terms of the segregation of different social groups. However, my science teacher, Sivasubrunya Maya, thought an orthodox Brahmin with a very conservative wife was something of a rebel. He did his best to break social barriers so that people from varying backgrounds could mingle easily. So, on the whole, however, though, has to be underlined. Now notice the underlined words or phrases in the above paragraph. They are called linkers or discourse markers. Noticing and understanding discourse markers help learners to understand the logical structure of what they read and listened to, the order of events and the attitude of the speaker or writer and what they refer to. Now what do we think? What makes the writer use the linker on the whole in the above paragraph give reason? So what is the main reason? In order to summarize the previous incident, when Kalam was separated from his close friends and ordered to sit in the last row by new teacher, Lakshman Sastri, the priest of the temple, told the teacher that he should not spread the poison of social inequality and religious intolerance in the minds of innocent children. He bluntly asked the teacher to either apologize or quit the school and the island. This is the answer for this. Write it in the notebook. What purpose does the linker however serve in the paragraph? It serves as a linker indicating the result of an action. The science teacher was a broad-minded Brahmin while his wife was a conventional and adamant of the belief. This is a reflection of however. What does the writer emphasize by using the linker though? It indicates contrast signal of two diversified thought. In, his, in this context, Joseph Romania did his best to break all the social inequalities and his wife was conservative and orthodox. The linker though was used to indicate the inheritance of the family culture in higher on par with his ideas of breaking social barriers in spite of different backgrounds. Why did the writer use the linker? In order to bring the unity in the text. The linkers help to keep the ideas together, synchronize them and assiduously arrange them to make the text effective. They are the pivotal words to maintain the logical structure and sequence of the passage. Now here is a list of linkers. Some of them can be used synonymously. Refer to a dictionary and group them in the following table according to the function they perform in a sentence or discourse. Now I am giving you answers for this, the functioning and the linkers. Observe them and write them. Now turn your page. Fill in the blanks with the appropriate choice from the brackets. I don't want to go to a restaurant. Dash, we can't afford it. What is the answer besides? A career in IT field is lucrative. Dash, it is stressful and it can even be harmful to one's healthy. At the same time, I understand your problem. Dash, I can't help you. However, Transportation had developed a lot in India, dash the trade too has improved, likewise. Some of the students scored low ranks in the exam, dash the teacher arranged a series of remedial classes, consequently. Now complete the following paragraph by choosing the appropriate linking words. Here are the linking words given to you in the box. Next, for example, however, secondly, finally, thirdly. Now in this passage, we have to add these linkers. Linking words help us in many ways in writing dash. They help us in presenting our ideas in a meaningful way. For example, dash they help us to introduce and develop the main idea of the paragraph. Secondly, dash they help us to illustrate and add supporting details. Thirdly, dash they help us in moving from one idea to another by binding one sentence with another. Next. Dash they help us to, ident to understand the ideas presented in the paragraph finally. Dash using too many linking words ruins the structure and coherence of the paragraph however. Now next Roman join the following sentences using the linkers given in the bracket. There were freezing temperatures they tracked for hours. Use in spite of. So in spite of freezing temperature they tracked for hours. It is an interesting city we are going to visit it again. 
it is such an interesting city that we are going to visit it again we booked a holiday we had very little money we booked a holiday although we had very little money the tour guide was informative we didn't need to read our guide book the tour guide was so informative that we didn't need to read our guide book he didn't like water he booked a cruise in spite of the fact that he didn't like water he booked a cruise preachers preach many good things many of them do not practice what they preach preachers preach many good things however many of them do not practice what they preach jainul abdin had no formal education and no wealth neither nor jainul abdin had neither formal education nor wealth the continental dimension of the country account for the vari- variation and diversity there are several religious sects and beliefs besides there being several religions sects and beliefs the continental dimensions of the country account for the variations and diversities now next passive voice without a agent so till now we have studied active and passive having a subject object but here without a agent how do we write observe the following sentences taken from the text i was born emergency was declared i was asked to go and sit on the back bench you might have learned in your previous class about active and passive voice construction though the above sentences are in the passive the agent is not mentioned the agents are not mentioned in the following situations when the agent is obvious when the agent is not known when it is not desirable to re- reveal the identity of the agent so pick out from the text some more passive constructions without agent and give reason why the agent is not mentioned so example if you say the old man was robbed actually in passive voice by whom we will be writing here we are not going to write by whom so someone picked my wallet who picked someone picked so my purse has been stole stolen or has been lost you can say so this is how we will be writing without an agent here i am showing you picking from the text some more passive constructions without agent and giving reasons why the agent is not mentioned now observe this and write it in your notebook and next roman edit the following paragraph it has some errors in the areas like punctuation spelling tense prepositions and articles now this passage answers were given to you just go through them and write it whatever corrections i have shown in this now turn your page writing skills diary entry imagine that you are one of the student who witnessed the humiliation done to kalam in the classroom reflect on the incident and write your emotions in your diary this is a writing task to you you have to write the diary entry in the lesson kalam gave a brief description of his heritage kalam says i don't recall the exact number of people she his mother fed every day but i am quite certain that far more outsiders ate with us than all the members of our family put together this shows the heritage of hospitality and kindness kalam says even from the ramayana and from the life of prophet were the bedtime stories my mother and grandmother would tell the children in our family this shows the heritage of secular spirit now read the entire text and identify the aspects related to the heritage of kalam and his village so here i am showing you the answers of this next one here in the letter that moses wrote to his friend ravi from the united states of america imagine yourself as ravi and give a reply here is a letter which was uh, written by the moses to his friend this is a letter to you imagine yourself as ravi and give a reply to your friend so this is a reply letter observe this carefully and write it in your notebook now listening skills listen to an extract from the speech by the apc abdul kalam at uh, tribulity hyderabad on 27 september 2011 now listening skills open your page number 212 213 you have the complete listening skills 
read it carefully then answer the questions which were given to you down one to five questions and the next followed with the oral activity turn your page 196 the role play is given to you group discussions point to remember next follows with study skills the following graph showing the female male sex ratio in rural and urban areas comparing with the national average read the following graph and write a paragraph comparing the female male sex ratio in rural and urban areas in india comparing with the national average comment on the reasons and its consequences so national sample survey reading the graph you write it by yourself this is what our end of our unit 6 reading a completely in the next class we will complete the reading b and reading c so complete the grammar part which i have given you in the textbook thank you have a nice